Hey everyone, it's Zach from And All The Nerdy Fun, and today we're going to learn how to play A Gift of Tulips from Weird Giraffe Games, a beautiful game that celebrates the colorful tulip festival of Amsterdam. It was designed by Sarah Perry for two to six players, and it plays in about 20 minutes. In A Gift of Tulips, players will be endeavoring to finish with the most points by having majorities in the different types of tulips, giving tulips to other players, and keeping them for their own all while manipulating the festival to try and get their tulips to finish with the highest value. It is worth noting this is a prototype copy of the game, and not all components are final. If you like what you see, you can head over to the Weird Giraffe Games Kickstarter and give the gift of your support for the production of this game. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be setting up a three-player game. A Gift of Tulips comes with a deck of tulip cards, festival cards, player reference cards, tulip value tracker, tulip cubes, six player scorecards, and six scoring cubes. To set up the game, first remove the five to six player tulip cards from the deck and place them aside. Shuffle the remaining tulip cards, then remove the corresponding number of cards based on how many players are in the game. For this three player game, we will remove four cards. This will ensure all players receive the same number of turns. Give each player a scoring card, a scoring cube, and a reference sheet. We will then place the four festival cards in the middle of the table, starting with first place and down to fourth. We next draw two tulip cards from the deck, placing the higher value card under first place and the lower number card under second. If they are the same value, randomly place each card. If they are the same type of tulip, Draw a new card until you have a different tulip type and shuffle the other cards back into the deck. Next, place the four tracking cubes, one for each type of tulip, onto the tulip value tracking card. Place the two cubes that correspond to the tulips you have placed in the festival at their matching value on the card. Finally, deal two cards to each player. Players will then choose one card to keep by placing it face up in front of them to start their bouquet and one to put face down to create the secret festival deck. This deck will be added to throughout the game, but will not be revealed until the end. The player with the most colorful outfit will go first. On a turn, the active player will draw a card and choose one of three actions to perform with that card. They will then draw a second card and choose a different action to perform. You cannot perform the same action twice on a turn. After a player performs their second action, play passes to the left. After drawing a card, a player must choose from the following actions. They may keep a tulip for their bouquet by placing the tulip face up in front of them. This will lead to possible scoring at the end of the game if you control the majority in a particular color. If the tulip is ranked third or fourth, a small amount of points is earned for keeping that tulip. The amount will be indicated on the festival card. The next action a player may perform is giving a tulip to a friend. When gifting a tulip to another player, the active player will immediately earn the point value on the tulip card as well as any bonus indicated by the corresponding festival card for that tulip. The final action that can be performed is to add a tulip to the festival. This can be done in one of two ways. A player can add the tulip directly to the festival. If it would cause that tulip to meet or exceed the value of another tulip, then it will move up in rank and force the other tulip types down in rank. The other option is to place the tulip face down in the secret festival deck. Placing a card into the festival will lead to determining the final bonus scores at the end of the game, and change the bonus scores for gifting and keeping tulips throughout the game. The game ends when the tulip deck has been depleted, and all players have had an equal number of turns. It's now time to reveal the secret festival deck. If there are more than five cards in the deck, shuffle it up and draw the first five cards to add them to the festival. If there are less than five cards, then add all of them to the festival, changing the rank of the tulips as you go. Once the festival is finalized, players will determine who earned the majority of points for each festival card. In this three-player game, Points are given to the most and second most on the card. Points are earned for the first, second, and third ranked tulips. 
After adding the festival bonuses, the player with the highest score will be declared the winner. If there is a tie, the player with the most tulips in their bouquet is the winner. If there is still a tie, the tied players will share a very colorful victory. And that is how you play A Gift of Tulips from Weird Giraffe Games. If you like what you saw, please head over to their Kickstarter and support the project. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel for more nerdy fun. I hope everyone is staying safe, and I will see you next time.